five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. on until midnight tonight, Eastern Daylight Time. We'll be getting to a citizens panel a little bit, but once a week we like to talk to this guy. Ladies and gentlemen, out to San Francisco we go. My hometown. I kind of miss it. I hear I won't if I went there. Uh, Larry Bubbles Brown, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, you'd miss stepping on syringes and it really? People matter, but it, yeah. Is it getting that bad? Oh, it's, yeah. But apparently, the entire West Coast, from Seattle down to San Diego, is that way. All the major cities have become fecal centers. <laughs> fecal centers, homeless hell pots. You know, you know. And what, so and, stay and, in New York. You're better off. Yeah. Uh, how, how do you tell the the human dog shit from the dog uh, the human shit from the dog shit? And I would say probably the answer is there's no dog shit because everybody has to pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I you know what I don't understand? Uh, and that is uh, I had a whole big thing with uh, Willie Brown once. I am on the show. And I said, you know, because I'd been in New York and I, I saw a guy try to use a, a hotel bathroom, came in off the street, bum, okay, Absolute. You could tell he was a bum. If, if, but the way you can tell a real bum from a fake bum is if their shoes are in bad shape. They're a real bum. If their shoes are like really nice, uh, uh-uh, forget it. <laughs> you know, don't give them any money. You know, they're just running a scam. But anyway, I saw the guy come in. And he asked to use the bathroom. The guy who was at the front door said, "You can't use the bathroom. It's for customers only." And the guy left. And I went no, to myself, no wonder people pee in the streets. No wonder they shit in the streets. I mean, if they don't have a place to shit, where are you going to take a poop? You're going to use the streets, right? Mm-hmm. So uh, I uh, had Willie Brown on shortly after I d- this incident happened in New York. And I said to him, I said, uh, you know, really, we should do something about helping the homeless. And I said, one of the things we should do to help the homeless is to uh, pass a law that they have to be, if you have a business, you have a public business, you should be forced to allow people, anybody, to use your bathrooms. And he kind of I kind of poo-pooed the idea, you know, whatever. So... Uh, what's her name? Uh, who is my friend? Uh, uh, Angela Alioto, who was on the city council. I then brought this up to her, and she thought it was a splendid idea. And she went to the city council, and she proposed this, and they passed a law saying that they they didn't make it private businesses, but if it was a public uh, uh, place, like uh, a lot of uh, garages in San Francisco were public garages, and they had bathrooms, that these bathrooms had to be made available to the poor, to the homeless. And they passed the law. It's kind of Alex's law. Uh, yeah, and, your name should be on that. Yeah. I don't know what happened to that law because they're pooping in the streets now. Well, yeah. You know, but we got... Yeah, well, most of them are drug addicts or they're mentally ill. They don't care. So that's the problem. They should be in institutions, but... I don't know. If I were mentally ill, I don't think I would just pull down my pants and shit in the street. You know, (laughs) I think there would be something in me that wasn't crazy that still said you don't pull your pants down in public and take a dump. Right? Well, well, they're doing it. So So anyway, so San Francisco is full of you. And how much is there? I mean, is it that bad? I mean, have you actually walked into it? I, it's 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 down in the Tenderloin mostly, and uh, another part of the city. So I, I stay out of there, but I hear it's pretty awful. The Tenderloin has always been a terrible area, hasn't it? 
Yeah, always just uh, poor and depressing and uh, dirty. And and it really shouldn't be because it's very close to all the big stores and everything like that. It's not like it's in a uh, out of the way spot in town where no, it's you probably know. two blocks from Macy's and the Hilton down there. Yeah, yeah. And it was called the Tenderloin, and that's where prostitutes uh, plied their trade. And I guess the Tenderloin, even when I was a kid, had a bad reputation. And I, I yeah, I think it's I think it was when it was new, it was probably bad. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, you, 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 places get bad reputations, and uh, there's no reason for them to get bad reputations and hold on to those reputations. I mean. Harlem, for many years here, was known as Drug City. I mean, it was a horrible place to live. And now, it's a wonderful neighborhood. I mean, a lot of the flavor has gone out of it, but it is a wonderful neighborhood. So, anyway. So, what would be, what would be like a horrible neighborhood in New York? To me, any neighborhood in New York is horrible. Um, I, I just have gotten so sick in New York. You know why? They cleaned it up too much. You know, there's something to be said for a city having a certain edge to it. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. You know, kind of like you feel like you're walking on the edge of a razor every now and then. And and uh, San Francisco, uh, New York is has gotten just too clean. I knew it's it more was like Disney. It's more like Disneyland. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, I just I, I just realized one day when I came back to New York, this was many years ago, that it had changed when uh, somebody bumped into me and uh, he, I, he he looked at me and went, oh, sorry. <laughs> and I went, what the fuck has happened to this city? Because usually the response would be, what the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. You're sorry? You know, uh, well, that's what I knew. the first time I went back to New York. I thought because I'd always heard it was such a brutal, rough city, and I thought that was it was much more uh, refined than San Francisco. Well, you want to know something? I, you, know, you know something about New York that that I that I do hate, and and people are not. If you're listening to me, folks, and you're from New York, you don't realize this, and I've I don't think I've ever talked about this before. Uh, there are subways. And you, what you do, the rule is you go down the right side or up the right side of the subway. Get what I'm saying? Because there's a railing in the middle. Okay? You go down, you go down the right side, you go up the right side, um, which would then be the left side from the other right. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, people don't do that anymore. They don't give a shit which side they're going up or down. And so when it's rush hour, you can't get down the stairs or get up the stairs. I mean, it's terrible because it, they're, they're taking up both sides. That's what pisses me off. Am I an old man? Is that making me an old? Well, you no, can't, that would be annoying. It's pretty uh, it's just say the same as the rules of the road, right, right left. It, so. Yeah, you kids use the right side of the, you know, the thing, right? So, uh, you know, I, I just... Uh, it's amazing. It's just amazing to me. And the so. si- the streets are so crowded there, too, with people, right? Yeah, but nobody's... Yeah, well, no, actually, you know what's happened? Here's the other thing that bothers me. Oh, boy, I really am sounding like an old fuck. Uh, <laughs> they took Broadway and turned it into a mall. Okay? Times Square turned it into a mall. There's one lane for traffic. And the rest are people sitting in tables drinking their lattes. Now, I don't know if you've seen old movies in New York, but when you see Times Square, you see the hustling and bustling of cars going either way, right? You know? Like that, thousands of taxis. Thousands of taxis, right? No more. No. It's like one lane going through there, and the rest are, is like this, this mall. And and you're going, Jesus fucking Christ. And then you go down there on a weekend. You can't walk. Because what they've done by making it into this giant mall is they've kind of made everybody want to go there. 
and it is so fucking crowded. You know, so if you're a New Yorker and you're just there to do business, you can't do business anymore. You know, so. All right, folks, the old codger has spoken. Whose huh? fault was that? Uh, mayor. I, I'd say it started with Giuliani and it worked its way up uh, throughout the years to all the other mayors who have decided that they were going to make that. It, it, really, what they've done is they've turned it into a tourist trap. That's what they've done, you know. And now that we know where all the tourists are at one place, let's shoot them. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait a minute. That would make me a mass shooter. Oh, well, they're going to be knocked. Yes, who is it? The police. Pre uh, dawn raid. Well, you remember you remember my big thing in San Francisco was how to keep the tourists away. You remember? Do you remember? No, I think so. Yeah, I think this will jog your memory. My cure for keeping tourists out of San Francisco because I my feeling was tourists were ruining San Francisco, right? Because they'd come and they, you couldn't get, it used to be you would take the um, the cable car and you would go from Fisherman's Wharf to Market Street, right? You can't get yep. on the cable cars anymore. Because there's 5,000 tourists. Try, all trying to get on the cable cars. The clue is if you want to get on the cable car, go about five streets up, six streets up. And by then, most of those people will have gotten off the cable car because they don't want to go to Market Street, right? So, but anyway, when I was a kid, that's the way I went to Market Street with my mother. We would hop on a cable car. When we lived on Telegraph Hill, we would go down uh, to where the cable car was, and you know, you could even hop on it while it was still moving. And uh, uh, we would hop on the cable car, and now you can't do that. You just can't do that. It's too crowded. So my feeling was, fuck the tourists. I don't like the tourists. Let's get rid of the tourism in this town. Everybody, when you see a tourist, spit on them. <laughs> and after a while, San Francisco will get the reputation of if you're a tourist, the people there will spit on you and everybody will go to like L.A., all right, instead of San Francisco. Uh, because I knew it was too beautiful a town to stay beautiful if this thing went on. And, and I was right. Look at it today. Look at some of the buildings they put up yeah. that, that obscure the beautiful hills of San Francisco. There was a time when you Done couldn't... that, yeah. It's a bunch of shitty high-rises. And... There was a time when you couldn't build a building taller than 20 stories in San Francisco. Uh, and... Part of the reason was they didn't want it obscuring the hills, okay? And secondly, it was because of the earthquakes. They didn't want them unless they were really earthquake-proof to exist. Although you had a building recently in San Francisco, didn't you, that was starting to, I don't know, lean or something like the that? The Millennium Tower, yes. They've, they've come up with a $100 million fix. So. A $100 million fix for the Millennium Tower. They put up how tall is the Millennium Tower? It's probably forty stories, mm -hmm. and it was leaning uh, leaning eighteen inches, I think, which is a lot. It was leaning, and it was the it was leaning more inches every year, right? Yeah, yeah. Because like they, if you put a golf, uh, somebody put a showed uh, he put a golf ball on his floor, and it just rolls to the other end of the uh, room. <laughs> and, and the it's people that bad, yeah. The people buy apartments, or is that an office building? They're condos, yeah. They're There's condos. A lot of famous, famous people. Live. I think Joe Montana has a place there. Yeah, so he can play golf. Yeah, <laughs> and practice his game, cutting game. Wow, wow. So, so they were supposed to go down. Uh, they were supposed to put these piles down 240 feet, but they only went down 80 feet. So that was part of the problem. So now I have to redo that, and it's going to cost them. I'm sure the taxpayers will get stuck with this somehow. But. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, anyway, it, 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 um, uh, it, so, so you've got this city that once had this charm that is slowly losing its charm. I mean, I imagine out where you live, which is the marina, um, it probably still has its charm, right? They haven't really fucked it up. They haven't that built bad. high rises here. Now they're, they're loading up. Van Ness is pretty much nothing but anymore, but. But what? The marina still—it's all high rises. They've just put in. Really? 
Yeah, they tore down the, uh, remember the old Jack Tar Hotel? <laughs> oh, yes, right. Which was pretty hideous. Well, they put up a uh, it was, building there. It was the ugliest hotel that they ever put in San Francisco. Yeah. Uh, and they, they somehow they came along and they did some fix, fixing to the decor outside to kind of make it better. Wasn't it multicolored at one time? It was like, yeah, it was like blue and white and looked really crappy. And everybody hated it. They wanted to burn yeah. it down, literally. I mean, the, you know, San Franciscans for years were very particular about their city, you know. And, and the Jack Tar Hotel, they said, was something that had to be designed in Oklahoma, you know. And uh, it was there. So they tore down the Jack Tar. Tore down the Jack Tar and put up a big hospital. Okay. And well, there's a bunch of well, high rise Va- Van Ness was always Van, uh, Van Ness was always a boulevard that had huge uh, buildings, larger buildings than almost anywhere else in the city concentrated. Mm-hmm. So, uh, is uh, let me see here. It, the, it, remember, they, they now, it's now a movie theater, but they had a Don Lee uh, Cadillac uh, showroom there. That's now a Tesla. It's now Tesla, no, but sure, they but, they, but they, didn't they change it into a movie complex as well? If I'm not mistaken, there was a movie complex at uh, I think it was Post or Sutter. They had that glass kind of uh, yeah. had a really weird looking place. Yeah, I, well, that's been torn. That's now a CVS. That's a CVS. Yeah. Where are people going to the movies now? There are no theaters. You know. Yeah. Because um, um, that was uh, that was that was pretty cool, actually. Uh, but 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 the Donnelly uh, Cadillac dealership is on the second floor. He housed the Donnelly Mutual Network. Uh, wow! And my father used to work out of there, doing a morning show called the Breakfast Gang. Uh, and they would uh, they would uh, uh, Phil Bavaro and his orchestra. And uh, uh, that building was beautiful. And I don't know if it's still there, but I do seem to remember them turning it into a movie complex. Oh, that was where the, um, maybe it was a, before it had been in the 20s, it was like, a, I think, a Pierce Arrow dealership. And, and the, that's where the, uh, it became a Cadillac the, dealership. And it was very ornate. Became, okay, well, that's the, the famous picture of Fatty Arbuckle in front of there with his new uh, car. Oh, really? Yeah, and the, yeah, you're right. They did put they did put movies, a uh, little theater in there. Uh, well, maybe not but a I little think, theater. I think I, that's gone. I mean, they tore that, that all that they down. Did, they haven't torn it down, no. But the, I think the movies are out because that architecture was so. Oh, it's an wonderful. amazing building. Yeah, it's an amazing building. Just an amazing building. But um, uh, and I, you know, then what was that eating place where they served buffalo stew even when buffalo were dying out? Um, oh, that was across from the Jack Tar. That was the. Uh, it's still there. It's uh, it had a guy's name. Uh, oh, why can't I remember it now? My father used to take me all the time there. Uh, we never had the buffalo stew, by the way. Never. I know what you mean. I can't remember it. Probably. Yeah. Uh, it had a name. It had a guy's name. Something, something, something. Or something. Anyway. See how old I'm getting? I'm even forgetting that. But uh, You've got full-blown dementia now. And my memories of, of, uh, of North Beach when I was a kid. I mean, that was a purely Italian neighborhood where you'd go into a restaurant and they had, like, sawdust on the floor. You know? <laughs> And and you would get really good Italian food. It, this was the real deal. Everything in San Francisco, I imagine, is pretty much been sanitized, right? Yes, yes. Tourists and techies. I mean, we used to run our radio station out of a place called the Furniture Mart, and it is now what? Google? That's uh, Twitter. 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 Yeah. So, you know. Oh, well, you know, you, you got to figure that when you hit the 79, almost 80 like I am, that everything in your life has changed, you know, that nothing's like it was. I look out at the skyline of New York City and I see these pencil-thin buildings and I go, what an eyesore, you know. 
New York used to have beautiful buildings like the Chrysler Building, which is still around, which was Art Deco, or the Empire State Building, which uh, was uh, kind of Art Deco. Inside, it's, it's Art Deco. Uh, and now all of a sudden, you've got all these buildings going up. It's like they found a, a small bodega somewhere, and they said, let's build an apartment building on this footprint. And then they built this pencil-thin building. Uh, and it, you know, it, and they they're huge. They're now building what they call the tallest um, apartment building in the world. Here, can you imagine that? Something else for how many, the how many stories? How many stories? I don't know to be honest with you, but it's tall enough that if some hijackers want to take a plane and do it again. They got a lot of choices now. It's like a bowling alley downtown. <laughs> you know, so, I mean, uh, uh, and what happens when you do this is you suck the flavor out of a city. Now, it's the flavor I'm used to. I imagine the kids growing up now, they'll wind up being my age eventually and going, remember those tall pencil film thin buildings? How wonderful they were rather than those big fat ones they're making yeah, exactly. now. Exactly. You know, then- <laughs> so, so uh, you know, I think it's what you grow up with and what you're used to. And I always romance San Francisco because it was always the city that was better than L.A., you know? And um, in fact, it was so... Uh, better than L.A., that all the people from L.A., like the movie stars, used to come up, and it was their playground. You know, yep. And that's why Fatty Arbuckle had a party at the St. Francis Hotel. And, and uh, by the way, they, they changed the room number on his the room where the party took place. So to this day, you can't figure out where the party was. Oh, really? People don't know that thing. Fatty Arbuckle held a party in San Francisco and a woman by the name <clears throat> of Virginia Rappé uh, was supposedly raped by Fatty Arbuckle. And um, imagine having a name like Rappé and then you claim you got <laughs> raped. Actually, she was a prostitute and she got really drunk and uh, she had an internal hemorrhage. And that's what killed her. Okay, but Fatty Arbuckle was blamed for it. And when they held the trial, they asked a doctor, well, how could she have hemorrhage from the inside like that, you know? And they said, said, well, from the insertion of something like a Coca-Cola bottle. So from then on, the rumor always was that Fatty Arbuckle fucked this woman with a, a, um, a, what do you call it, a a, a Coca-Cola bottle. The truth of the matter was that Fatty Arbuckle wasn't even in San Francisco when this event took place. Wasn't even here. He was on his way coming to San Francisco. But nevertheless, wow. he was put on trial. And, by, and there were three trials, two hung juries, and the third trial, the jury found him not guilty. And the judge admonished the public and the press and everybody, said... This man has been wronged greatly and has been put through this, and I hope you'll let him get on with his life. And they let him go. Never worked but again. But he was ruined. He was ruined. Well, I, I, I didn't know. I didn't know it was that egregious. I, like, wow. Yeah, uh, Shecky told me that he wasn't ruined, actually, that he went on to direct films. Uh, uh, he used the name... Will be good, and that was the rumor that he used the name Will be good, but he finally used the name Will Goodson or something like that. And um, he directed movies. He directed some, I think, with uh, Buster Keaton. Uh, and uh, when when they when he went to uh, MGM and they uh, Keaton couldn't direct his own films any longer, they wouldn't let him. Uh, but he he eventually died, uh, his wife said, of a broken heart. But he did have a career afterwards. Uh, not unlike somebody, some people say that he, he was ruined forever, you know, so. But, but his acting career was over. Oh, his acting career was over because the lovable, he was maybe one of, one of the most lo- lovable comics in movies. And uh, that, uh, that, that image couldn't persist given, you know, 
Um, so he wasn't even here. That's unbelievable. He wasn't even at the St. Francis Hotel. He was on his way up from Los Angeles. And somehow she, what happened was she got really drunk, and in order to uh, sober her up, they put her in a bathtub full of ice, and that caused the hemorrhage. And then he was blamed for having fucked her. And then, of course, people in their minds see this big fat guy on top of this woman. Yeah. And yes, of course, that beast would cause her, you know, bladder or whatever to rupture. But she uh, she died as a result of being put in a, t- a, a tub full of ice. So there you go. There's the story of Fatty Arbuckle. You'll never think of it, him the same way again. <laughs> and also, the jokes should stop. Hey. Time to go. Well, that was interesting. I like that. You like that? See, you love, you love, that's why I love talking to you. Let me bring out all these old stories I know. Ladies and gentlemen, he's funny. He's laughable. Go see him whenever he's playing somewhere doing his skits and sketch, skits, skits and sketches. Uh, his name is Larry Bubbles Brown. Thanks, Larry. Thanks, Alex. Still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. And we really enjoy having Larry Bubbles Brown around here. It makes our life just a little bit better. It makes me feel good about myself. Okay? Okay. Anyway, let me, um, let me see here. Oh, we are uh, signing on to our Skype. We'll see if anybody's there tonight. Last night, a little slow, a little slow. Come on. Come on, Skype. Come on. Uh, and I was just sitting there bouncing up and down. Don't tell me it's not going to work tonight. Um, oh, boy. Come on. It's, it's taking its sweet time uh, booting up here. Uh, there we go. Finally. And now I still, I don't have anything up there in the, uh, well, let me see here. Let me get this. No, I want this up here. I want, there we go. And I've got to, uh, I've got to bring this thing down. No. <sighs> here we go. Hold on a second, folks. Wait a minute. I, I'm having some problems here. Just hold on while Alex attempts to do, um, a thing here. There we go. All right. Now we're okay. It took a while. What happened earlier today is there, I don't know, the Con Ed is working on the building or something, and they, they have something with the gas, okay, the gas meters, and they turned off all the electricity. I was sitting here. I was talking to Damien on the phone, and boom, all of a sudden, they, you know, we lose uh, uh, all our... Uh, uh, our electricity here. So the electricity went out. I killed the the machine here, and that takes the time for our um, um, thing to uh, uh, get going. So, yeah, anyway. Uh, it, it throws everything off, so sometimes when you're rebooting programs you were using, uh, you know, you just, uh, it, they just don't come up as easily as they did. Hello! There he is. There's Vernon Nunn. Hi, Vernon. Nice to see you. Here comes Charles Wallace. Uh, Charlie, let's see. Does he come in on one of our... Um, he should come in... Well, let me see here. Is he there? No, i got to give him a place tonight, I guess. Uh, put him in the number two spot. Oh, come on. Bennett, you're just fucking up like crazy. Here, Charles Wallace. His new apartment there in Texas. Hello, Charles. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Yeah. Worn out. You do, you're worn out? It looks yeah. like you're getting stuff in there. It, there yeah, uh, I got my desk put together in my bed. Yeah, last night it didn't look like you had anything in that room, and now you look like you have stuff in that room. <laughs> yeah. And by the time you get it all taken care of, you're going to have to move again, right? Oh, no, don't say that. I'm sick of moving. You don't want to have to move. No, no. Let me see here. Uh, I need to, um, uh, let me see here. Let me, I got to get Dan here, but I, sometimes if I go to somebody before their camera's up, it doesn't show up here. 
Here, here, here we go, Mr. Dan. Okay, there we go. Uh, boom! There we go. Oh, I see. We got a whole bunch of people here already. Here, here, here we go, Mr. Dan. Wait a minute. What was that? Who's that? Oh, I met again. Huh? <laughs> what? I got, I got mentioned twice because the echo had my name. Y yeah, you're you're a little on the loud side there, Dan. Uh, it'll probably it's the it's the thing. I got a. I, I got to get a new computer and set that up. No, I'll you don't. Do you don't really soon. have to get That's a new computer. You just go much. into the thing, and it actually, I think, sets it up so that it doesn't. You know, I don't know. Uh, ah, forget maybe. it. I, forget I don't it. know. I haven't. I haven't really gotten it, into it's, it. It's but. the technology all the kids are using. You know, I'm kids today. Well, now that you guys have had <laughs> Skype, the new Skype for a while, what do you think of the new Skype? Well, that said it all, didn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it did. Huh? What I haven't yeah, really it, noticed any difference. You, you haven't noticed any difference? No. The, the, one, you, one, yeah, what? Oh, one thing that I have noticed is that, um, and this is just you on the air, it's that you have to take time to set us all up. You know yeah, what I mean? Well, once I've got it all set up, once I've got you each in a little place and everything like that, the rest of it's pretty easy. You yeah. Know? I mean, yeah, he, here, here comes Phil. Before we just call in and get popped up, yeah. you know, and but I don't know. Maybe that's something else. I don't know. So what I have to do for Phil is I have to go and look at uh, Phil's uh, name here, which is Scuba Diver. See, also part of the problem is if, you, if you're not a regular caller, I don't uh, many times know the actual name you're using, and so I have to figure that out, you know. Uh, Another reason I need to call him. Vernon Nunn's very difficult. It says Vernon Nunn. Uh, <laughs> and, and Charlie's very difficult. It says Charles Wallace. <laughs> Dan, you're very difficult. It says Mr. Dan. Now, here with Phil, it's Scuba Diver. How difficult mm -hmm. is that? Well, now that I know it, but if I didn't know it, it would be a problem. Not for me. Not for you, but for me. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so, anyway. Uh, how y'all doing tonight, everybody? Okay, that's another quiet answer we got here. Uh, I already answered. <laughs> huh? It's a... You got to be exhausted, well, Charlie. Moving is the worst thing you can possibly oh, do. Man. Oh, man. Yeah. And you're not really moved in for three months. I mean, it takes you that long yes, to get everything to where it should yeah. be. Yeah. He's got all his shit in there already. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I got boxes all over. You got over boxes place. everywhere. Yeah. What, you've That's never moved, Phil? Case. You've yeah. never gone through that misery? Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I've, I've moved several times. Yeah. But, um, you know. Usually I'm just, you know, one step ahead of the police, so I, I leave all that shit behind. No, but what you could do, see, what, what you can do is you could hire somebody to unbox yeah. everything and put it places, but then they won't put it where you can find it. Right. Well, I the la last time I moved, when I uh, moved uh, from uh, to the big house, uh, what happened was I paid these guys by the hour. Uh, so they said, okay, well, we can move you for this much guaranteed or by the hour. So if you pay them by the hour, they move like they got poop in their pants. They're very, very slow. Yeah. So when I moved from the big house to this apartment, I hired the same company. But I got a price, to uh, one, a set price to do the move. Mm -hmm. And it was it was expensive, but... They were fast. Every boom, 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 boom. They were driving 75 miles an hour. When they were driving from uh, Danville to Oakland when, uh, in, in the old house, yeah. the truck wasn't going over 40. And I'm saying to myself, how could these guys go any slower? They go any slower, they'd be going backwards. But that was because they were getting paid by the hour. Well, the problem, so. the problem that I had when I moved in here is there was just so much stuff to move between her place, my place, yeah. and... Uh, also, she had stuff in storage. Uh, yeah. She had to put her stuff. Actually, she had because she was renting to somebody. She had to put her stuff in. in the movers had to hold on to her stuff in storage for a couple of weeks before they moved it in here. So mm -hmm. she had to pay for that. 
It was a pretty expensive move all the way around. I mean, it, 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 what Charlie did, I think, is very smart. Uh, these pod things, mm -hmm. you they if you have a pod, I mean, you might not be able to do that in Harlem because you know you, you leave the pod on the street, it, it'll be like a. Uh, a 73 Buick left on the uh, Bronx Expressway, and uh, there won't be anything left. Well, actually, but, actually, the Harlem is so different now that you probably could leave it on the street without any problem. But the problem yeah. is you'd have problems parking it. Right. You know, yeah. and not getting a ticket. Um, wow. So, uh, but I, I couldn't do that anyway because at my age, I'm, I don't want to have to move all that stuff up. You know, I don't. Oh, you could pay a guy to put it in the pot. I mean, no, but I'm but, sure he took everything. Uh, Charlie took everything out of the pot himself and brought it up to the apartment, right, Charlie? Yeah. And now every bone in your body is aching. Yeah, I was having muscle cramps all night last night. Hey, uh, really, really. See, see. Well, uh, I went to the Rolfer again. This is the second week in a row I didn't scream in pain. I'm actually getting to the point where my muscles are allowing the Rolfers work to work. Uh, and, uh, Charlie, you know, you may want to do that. No, it's supposed to, Rolfing is supposed to be painless, but he hates you. <laughs> he, he's, he is a lefty. <laughs> and, and and we enjoy our conversations quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. That's kidding. Yeah, yeah, he's a lefty. Yeah, this he is, listens, this, guy, listens, this so. is getting to sound way <laughs> gay he, to me. He, he, no, he's, and he's also a Buddhist. And, uh, you know, so I, I guess uh, no, everybody has pain when they do this, uh, especially, you know, for the hour that they're doing it. The pain, you know, is over as soon as he's done. Yeah. But now that my muscles were so tight that uh, they're finally at the point where they're elongated, they're stretched a, a good bit. And I but don't have a good thing near. to say you're tight. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Very tight. <laughs> but, uh, is that a comment because I'm Jewish? You no. pulling the J card? No, I'm not pulling the J card. <laughs> How you doing, uh, Vernon? We haven't talked to you in a couple of weeks. What's been up with you? Uh, I've been enjoying the circus on the television this week. You know? Oh, the show, and the circus. All the national security crap. Oh, going that, on and, that. Uh, oh. Impeachment. Yeah, I've been, I've been loving it. Now, what do you love about it? The fact that uh, Mr. Trump has finally gotten his hand caught in the cookie jar. I think so. You're going to get a look from Phil. But, uh, oh, yeah. I, I, I'm not even going to give that any credibility, Vernon. Uh, you know, well, you're giving uh, it credibility by saying you're not going to give it any credibility. Uh, it's just Trump derangement syndrome. Uh, uh -huh. And you know, and, and you have, you have you names know, for wishes. all these little uh -huh. things. What it's called is we're sick and tired of the <clears throat> son of a bitch trying to take advantage of his position. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, but you got blinders on when it comes to uh, the others, uh, other administrations that uh, did, we don't did care about worse. other administrations. Uh, They're not in office right, any longer. You, 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 you wait, want wait, 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 hold on a second, Phil. Phil, let me talk. Phil, these were administrations that no longer exist. Now, you know, you want to go back into, uh, oh, I don't know, the Ulysses S. Grant administration and how uh, uh, crooked that was. I mean, come on. Absolutely. Phil, you do, we're, what we're dealing with is this man is president of the United States now, and he is using that position for, shall we say, not nice purposes. All right? Now, let me finish. Let me finish, Phil. Um, the, the fact of the Personal matter is political that, enhancement. that it doesn't matter. Biden could have been the biggest crook in the world, but he's gone. He's out of there, okay? He is no longer vice president, all right? Uh, 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 Obama could have been a big crook, although he wasn't, but he could have been a big crook, and it doesn't matter. He was president. He's not now. We care about who's president now and how he is perverting that office to his own his own um, uh, means. All right, so that that's the point. Forget about. It. Don't give me any more about this Biden bullshit. Plus, they had I they had. The, did you see the prosecutor from um, from uh, uh, where do you call it from the Ukraine? Ukraine uh, on TV no. tonight. No. Uh, he said uh, Hunter. Uh, uh, he, he was asked. Did Hunter Biden do anything wrong? And he said no. That's because he never got a chance. No, to he find said out. no. He had he's, a chance to find out. He was investigating that. He was then bumped from the job. But he said, 
Hunter Biden wasn't doing anything wrong, at least under Ukrainian law. You know, but there are no laws in the Ukraine. Well, yes, there are. Yes, there are, Phil. Quit, yes, there quit, are. quit making it's a lawless. Quit, try, quit trying to use that as an. Well, if it's lawless, then why are we doing business with them? Hey, we do business with the Saudis. Jesus, Phil, your excuses oh, for stuff are just well, getting really you know, lamer and lamer. Right. Hold on a I, second. I Let Dan talk. Yes, Dan. You we're, gave we're me five to, minutes. We're going so. to war for the Saudis. Huh? We're, we're, we're talking about going to war for the Saudis. No, the same Saudis. ones who uh, had half the hijackers were on 9-11 Yeah. Saudis. Yep. What are you pulling the S-card? It was three quarters. Yeah. Hey. You know, for for five minutes, Alex, you went on about it's uh, President Trump's uh, is the current president. Nothing else counted. Well, I didn't go on for five minutes. I went on. Let for me a, finish. A minute and a half. No, it's my fucking show, Phil. Well, fuck you. I'm telling fuck you. Fuck me. That, fuck you. Fuck you. You got a, a perverted <laughs> view of this thing, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't agree with one bit. Of what you said, and you know about something, I can go to sleep. I can go to sleep. These guys are no I, longer there. I can go better. I can go to sleep tonight feeling better because I did that to you. No, these guys are crooks. They're crooks. Hillary, Biden, and and the whole and, bunch. And, and Trump these isn't. And is, Trump isn't. Well, Trump is the only no, one going after Trump these pieces isn't of a shit crook. That will put Trump isn't that a crook. Trump isn't a crook. Trump did, it, that was illegal. What'd you one say? Thing, one thing How about, wait a minute. Hey, hey, we put, hey, Phil, let somebody else. You oh, don't know that those email. emails were illegal. <laughs> They're just a bunch of crap on Fox News. Uh, they, she, uh, she bleach bitted them, and then she smashed her phones. Uh, she, she, you know, if anybody is a crook, it's Hillary. Hillary was investigated nine times, and nobody found anything. Yeah, that's because it's a bunch. It's the swamp. Once you get no, Trump in there, Trump, Trump will make in sure. In typical There's Trump a... swamp, Bill, in typical Trump swamp, this investigator or this uh, prosecutor who ended up getting fired over in Ukraine was fired because he wasn't doing enough investigating. And in typical Trump world, they're saying it's some kind of conspiracy that Joe Biden had him fired because he was investigating the company that his son was working for. And the like point Trump, is, and the point was, wait a minute, the point was, his job. the point was, Vernon, this prosecutor, and he was on TV tonight on NBC News, uh, with uh, Engel, what's his name, uh, the, who's over there? Richard. Richard Engel. Uh, and he asked him directly, he said, did uh, uh, Hunter Biden do anything illegal in his, uh, you know, actions with this company? He said, no, he did nothing illegal. They also. Phil, he to... said nothing illegal. So you've heard some guy that says he did nothing. He illegal. was the he prosecutor, the Phil. He was the guy that Biden fired. I got don't fired, care. I don't according care to you. if he was his. Uh, you his should lover. care, Phil, because this is the guy you keep saying got fired because Biden's son was blah blah blah, and this guy says Biden's son wasn't doing anything. Look. Uh, also, this was wait a minute. All let, let, put Dan, up let Dan, by Dan talk. Soros. Let Dan talk. I don't want to hear the some, truth. No, the I'm truth sick and no, you're I'm sick and tired of there. hearing your dribble dribble. on tonight. Everything is Soros' is fault because he donates to Democrats. No, it's because he wants to uh, take over and and control. You know, he got he got Alex fired. You know, mm -hmm. you love George Soros and, and his media matters people. The, Soros was wrapped up in this thing. Biden's son was wrapped up in this thing. Kerry's son was wrapped up in this. And so was Whitey Bolger's nephew. These guys are scumbags. Wait, 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 wait a minute, Phil. Whitey so somebody Bolger's is Whitey nephew? Bolger's nephew. What does that have to do with it? He was a crook. What, because he was his nephew? Oh. And a murderer. No, Whitey Bolger. No, well, then but the, but was these it? are the sons of, of uh, sons of bitches. You know, between Kerry Jeez. and Biden, they, they were and and you know Biden's son's nothing more than a coke addict. You Jeez. know, these are the guys you're well, protecting. You have no proof of that, Phil. You have no proof uh, of that, Phil. From the Navy. You, you have no proof of that, Phil. Yeah, how? Why did the Navy dismiss him? I have no idea, Phil. Why because don't you tell he me? Tested positive for cocaine. Oh, I see. Where did you hear that? Where did you hear that, that, Phil? 
speaks to the news. No, Why where did you? I, the I, news. I want to know your I, source. I, I, I got it from Hillary Clinton. She it, called me up. Is, and is, me. is there? Yeah, right. Wait a minute, like, it, Phil. Is there fake news got, out there? <laughs> bullshit. Is there fake yeah. news out there? Uh, no, it's true. No, this no. True. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're being very selective about the fake news. No, this is true. Biden's son did get let go from the Navy for uh, testing positive for cocaine. Fact check it. It's there. So what? Well, if I put that, in, if I put okay. in Hunter Biden, coke. Uh, what should I put I in? Either. Hunter uh, Biden. Either. Hunter Biden. 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 Whatever. $100 bill in my wallet right now, it would test positive for cocaine. But I've never used cocaine in my life. Yeah, but it's not in your body. The, old, the only point is that a United States president called a foreign country oh, to get that's what he does. In about his rival here, which means that he uh, puts uh, other countries' interests against America's interests. The same thing he did when, uh, uh, when, he, when he told his flowers. He's, he's, not let he's Elon protecting Omar. you little boys from from the big bad hunter. That's what he's doing. And the big bad Biden. Okay, you see the article? I don't even know what. I, I, I'm seeing an article in which Hunter Biden, Hunter tonight, Biden so. admits to having all kinds of problems when he was younger, yes. Did he get yeah. thrown out of the Navy for testing positive for cocaine? I haven't read. I can't find it here. Okay. Uh-uh. Yeah. Maybe if, maybe if I get so you looking for, for it, maybe if I get life, right, maybe Joe? if I get you looking for it, you'll shut up for ten minutes. A possibility. Here he goes. He's gonna <laughs> go find it. He's okay, gonna go I'll find look. it, and then he's gonna see one sentence: cocaine. See, it says cocaine here. Okay, yeah. Look, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about Hunter Biden. It doesn't matter about Joe Biden. This is not what the argument is. We're talking about the call that he made to the Ukraine. Exactly. You know, and the and, 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 and what? Big deal. And 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 there's nothing in that call that is impeachable. And there's nothing in that call. Well, you you know, Schiff was making shit up yesterday. He's going to be. He he. he, he I, I, you can take this to the bank, Phil. Phil. He, he is going. He call. is going to be Come impeached. On. He's with there with with him. What about there's, five votes now of getting him impeached? These guys aren't going to vote for impeachment. Yes, they you will. You got maybe 150. Oh, by the way, votes. by the way, uh, uh, what, who did you say? What Democrat did uh, you say was against impeachment yesterday? Uh, the guy from New Tulsi, Jersey. Tulsi Gabbard. Oh, Tulsi Gabbard. Guess what she did today? What's that? She came out for impeachment. Yeah. Well, Phil, what well, do you have to say about she that? Wasn't for yesterday, you were making a big deal about that. Well, because yesterday, that's what she said. Okay, calm down, Phil. Give everybody else a chance to breathe here. I, I do. Just I, asking I, no, you for don't. a favor from what? the president of the Ukraine yeah. is a federal crime. Yeah. Just yeah. asking. Yeah. Okay. It's That's against the first the federal thing that came up. Uh, the first thing. Hunter Biden ousted from the Navy after drug test. Okay, what, uh, what, what's the source? What's the source? And who cares anyway? That's USA Today. USA Today, okay. Mm-hmm. ABC News. Okay, Vice what, well, but what does that have to do? Dog. Listen, number one, what does that have to do with Joe Biden? Anything. It's a right, you know. dog and pony show. Joe, right. Joe Biden Look was using here. his Look office to get his son out of trouble. Look what trouble? Here. No, Don't he wasn't. He, he wasn't Don't trying to get him out back. of trouble because, according to the prosecutor Girl. that he had fired, they, they had nothing against uh, Hunter Biden. He had done nothing and, wrong, and he was dishonorably tr- uh, discharged from the Navy. Okay, to so Rand- this has nothing to do with anything. It has nothing to do with anything, Phil. Right. You asked me, and you said you no. You you're the one that brought it up. You you brought it yeah. up like it was a big fucking deal. It is a big. No, it's fucking not a big deal. fucking deal. What are you Vernon, doing? What are you if doing, it shoots Vernon? Onto the screen, it's not going to be very okay. nice. Okay, <laughs> uh, uh, Vernon, do you have a comment? And shut up, Phil. Vernon, is Vernon there? Oh, uh, there he, he he's there. He was in the middle here. Oh, off. yeah. I've got a bad. I've got a bad, uh, bad Wi-Fi connection for some reason down here in the basement. Yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's good enough. Anyway, um, uh, do you have a comment? You were. Do, doing something with your hand. Uh, yeah, this is all distraction, just like Charlie was saying. All this stuff that you, you're hearing coming out of Phil's mouth, it's all distraction that's being spewed on Fox News and on Newsmax to try to distract from what Trump yeah. actually admitted that he did. 
It's a distraction what they're doing in the in Phil, the Congress. Phil, Phil. Phil. Oh, they're doing you the don't job, have to. Phil. You don't have to. They're, they're not job. doing their job. That's the job. Point. You're a fucking cop. Do you know, you, if somebody sits there and admits their crime, you're gonna arrest them. You're not gonna say, "Oh, that's he no didn't big." Deal. Admit to a crime. He you admitted to the crime. You he guys are delusional. I for favor. What, what, what happened? Asking him for a favor, and that is against federal law. That is a crime. What happened, Charlie? You go across state lines and you got wacko? You know, he didn't do it. He didn't ask for a favor. He did it. He did it. Did it. Did no, you read, you can't the, read memo? the transcript. You got to do a favor he did not first. Not ask for a favor. Do me a favor first. Listen, he actually, listen, said it in look at the transcript, Bill. Yeah, I, I right heard the transcript being said read something on about the Kaplan missiles that he needed for defense of his country. Right after he said that, Trump said, I need you to do me a favor in his typical godfather fashion. Well, then it was a misconstrued statement, and he had no time uh, was it a quid pro quo. It doesn't have to doesn't be a quid, to have pro a quid pro quo. quo. Just ask. You're, 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 you're quoting. Matter. You know what you're doing, Phil? Very, you, you are not even talking with your own mouth. You're quoting matter. Trump yeah, with that quid pro quo stuff. Not. Yeah. Uh, it was for Biden. Biden has nothing to do with this, Phil. He is no longer anything. He's not in politics. He has no All control right. over All anything. Right. We're talking about somebody who is in office, who's the president of the United States, who committed a fucking crime. Well, let's see what happens. He gets due process. And, you know, I was listening to a conversation about uh, Al Franken saying that he was denied due process and he quit because of the pressure that was put on him. Mm -hmm. You know, in this country, whether you commies like it or not, we get due process. And a person is innocent until proven guilty. Well, it isn't That's the way you've talked about things. Is. No, it's, a, it's a, an impeachment. It's nothing more guilty. than a grand jury uh, 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 make, make, uh, of, of, uh, of the House making a, a judgment and then sending it to the Senate. And you're not guilty until and, and removed until the Senate Nobody does it. Nobody said you weren't. Wow, I can't find... Uh, I can't Bree? find... Bree, yeah. This is weird. Okay. I see him on uh, Skype. I know he's on Skype, but he's, yeah, I, I can't find his... Uh, I think I have it. There we go. There we go. Oh, you yeah, found him? Right. Okay. Yeah, I found him. It took Bree, a while, what's your Skype name? But I found him. Oh, you found it? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, 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 Bree looks like he's in Charlie's apartment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? It kind of looks like you're living in a hostel at the present time. Yeah, sure. I mean, I just moved in. I just got my bed yesterday night. Yeah. And I'm, I now, for the first time since I've arrived, I have time to go through boxes and, and figure out what's in where, what needs to go where, and basically organize everything. Now, he I lives in, on you're, the wall. you're in Kuala Lumpur, right? Right. Are, correct, you, are yeah. you living in the country or are you living in the city? Um, it, it would be uh, the equivalent of sort of maybe Westchester to New York. Okay, so you got a lot of, sh <laughs> a lot of foliage there. He well, showed us the house. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you I did. can tell you again. Um, I, I, yeah, why not? Uh, let me just. Uh, this might cause a little noise, so let me mute it while I take it out of its holder. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, I just got my bed put together this afternoon. Yeah. And I now finally have uh, internet. You know, but anyway, this is my neighborhood, and all the houses look kind of the same. So if you can see those, oh, that's very nice. That's what my mine looks like they all look very much alike like they had they just had the same plan and just kept making it over and over and over again. yeah like uh, do Ryan you see those Cohen. high rises yeah. uh is that the city yeah. basically uh, or you know you're not that far out yeah. or or oh, that's um, not yeah i i don't know quite uh, maybe westchester's a little bit too far out um maybe i don't know I, i'd have to think about it it's more like uh uh you know Monroeville is to Pittsburgh. I don't know if you know that one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me see. But, here. you know, so it's outskirts. We're not directly in the city. I have to take a train. It looks very nice. Yeah. 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 It's nice, right? Yeah. And then uh, I'm just, uh, you know, or trying to go through the, the boxes and get things organized. 
Yeah. Uh, Parquet floors. Yeah, they're, they're a little beat up. We we have some issues with the landlord. Um, one of the doors, uh, you know, wouldn't open mm -hmm. uh, last night. It's you can see the door handle here. This one's okay, but it's like this. But this area here uh, got stuck and it wouldn't open or close. Now, fortunately, there was a second way out of that room. Um, but otherwise, it would be tough if there were an emergency because you can see that we have the bars on the windows. Is that due to the humidity? You couldn't open it? Uh, no, due to it being old. And right. downstairs, um, I have a, um, a bathroom there. The, it's so, the toilet does not have a shutoff valve. It's just a, it's just a pipe that comes from the wall into the toilet. So if the toilet uh, were to leak... I can't shut it off because there's no. You gotta shut, shut the water oh. off outside. Right. So it's well. What I could do is put a bunch of towels, get a uh, uh, wrench, open it up, and put in a valve. But that's what I want the landlord to do. But it's been slow going. So. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so that's your that uh, we there we are, folks. Koala Lumpur, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> on, a, on a nickel. Um, but, uh, oh, listen, I got something here. Here's something we can have a little fun with. Uh, there's a thing that uh, uh, the New York Times has every week. It's their news quiz. So let's, let's see how uh, smart you guys are, all right? Okay. The first one's very easy, okay? Mr. Trump, you know, they don't call, nobody calls him President Trump. They just call him Trump. Mr. That's the Trump. New York Times. Huh? Other places to call him president. So other places? Yeah, fine one. Uh, by the way, do you notice Fox is turning on, on, on Trump? No, I didn't notice Yeah, that. yeah. They're starting yeah. to say that he, uh, they have not the, his administration has not been forthcoming in this whole situation. Uh, I, I hadn't seen that. Yes, well, they've turned on him. So, he, you know, it's like when your wife decides to leave you. Anyway... Now, the first question is, uh, Mr. Trump made a request during a phone call with the leader of which country? Uganda. <laughs> yes, uh, we'll give it to Bree. Ukraine. That's Becky, correct. Becky Stan. It, 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 oh, Becky, Becky Stan. I like Stan. Uganda. <laughs> okay, here is the, uh, here, here's a good question. A uh, sweeping new report from the United Nations detailed the threats posed by climate change to which ecosystem? Deserts? Uh, Oceans, rainforests, Atlantic. or prairies? Uh, did, did it say coral uh, reefs? Say all of the above. Or oceans? Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, Bree, what do you say? Oceans. Oceans, let me uh, see here. You are correct, sir. Yay, right. you win. Uh, okay. See, it turns green here. It's 100 dead. Okay. Because the uh, the oceans are able to absorb a certain amount of the heat, yeah. but they themselves are now heating up, mm -hmm. and so this is one of the dilemmas that we'll have. So the ice caps yeah. will continue melting in order to balance that out, mm -hmm. but eventually the ice caps will go. Okay. So that's that's where we're at. Okay. What about the volcanoes under the ice caps? Isn't that causing the issue? There aren't any that volcanoes, many volcanoes ice under ice yeah, caps. There's volcanoes under the ice caps. Yeah. <laughs> Well, if there's volcanoes on the ice caps, they wouldn't have. Uh, whatever. Active. Anyway, okay. Yeah, so well, that will make the situation worse. Lady Hale is the leader of which British institution? The House of Lords, the Labour Party, uh, Oxford University, or the Supreme Court? Don't know. Don't know that one. I'm saying House of Supreme Lords Court. because, huh? Are you, are you saying? Supreme Court. Okay, let's go and see if it is Supreme Court. You're absolutely right. Vernon, yeah, Vernon gets, I don't remember what the story was. but Vernon gets the point. <laughs> Lady Hale is the president of Britain's Supreme Court, which ruled on Tuesday that Prime Minister Boris Johnson had acted unlawfully when he suspended Parliament. An unrepented Whoa. Mr. Johnson returned to reconvene Parliament on Wednesday and doubled down on his hardline Brexit approach. Okay. He also said he, she, he lied to the queen. Did he really? How do you lie yeah. to the queen? You tell her that's a nice dress. Uh, <laughs> uh, let me see here. More than 2,000 wildfires, many set deliberately to clear land for palm oil plantations are burning through rainforests in which country? 
Indonesia, Brazil. New Zealand. Brazil. No. I can show it to you out yeah. my window. Can I give you the answers first? Indonesia, New Zealand, yeah. the Philippines, or Sri Lanka? I'll bet Bree knows the answer to this. I, I have the mask right here that I have to wear to walk to work most days. Uh-huh. Oh, I know. It's Indonesia. Okay, let's see. You're absolutely right. Are well, you? Of course. I thought the rainforest was in Brazil that was burning. We're not talking. We, it didn't ask about that. It asked more than 2,000 wildfires, many said deliberately oh. to clear land, for palm oil plantations are we burning call, through the rainforest in which call, country? Hey. Oh, palm oil. If oh. not for palm oil in Brazil. Yeah. We call it the haze. That's true. And um, it gets up to about 170 on the, the AQI PSI scale. And sometimes they, well, they close the schools. Uh, the schools have been closed for about two weeks. It's a little bit, it's nice today because the winds are blowing the other way. But uh, this was a huge problem in Singapore uh, in 2013. Uh, they thought they'd gotten a handle on it, but I came back yeah. and the haze is back. Well, it says here the fires in Indonesia, <laughs> an annual phenomenon as new land is open for planting, have caused respiratory problems for nearly a million people and breed. Mm. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, by Wednesday, the mask. rain had redu rain reduced the number of hot spots to fewer than 1,800, down from more than 3,300 two days earlier. Okay? All right, here's question number five. You ready? The world's okay. oldest travel company went out of business, leaving hundreds of Cook. thousands of travel... You haven't heard the choices yet, Phil. I know the choice. So now you can't answer the question. No, Thomas Cook. no, no, that is not the choice. Will you let me f uh, now ask the question? The world's mm -hmm. oldest travel company went out of business, leaving hundreds of thousands of travelers scrambling to find a way home. It also set in motion what is described as the biggest peacetime repatriation in the history of the country where the company was founded. Is England. that Britain, France, Italy, or the U.S.? You can't answer, Phil, because you tried yeah. to answer without knowing the... The, well, so you I, okay, already Britain. you already responded, Thomas Cook. That's not a country. But that was the company. Bree's got his hand up again. Is Bree going to get the uh, point? Of course, it's <laughs> Britain. Okay. Yeah, all right. right. Hey, okay. this is this is a ripoff. There's no buttons to press. <laughs> it's rigged. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. There's no button. Rigged. There's no nothing. This there's this, no, is, this it, is a ripoff. You didn't you didn't you obey the rule. <laughs> It's a particularly bad week for, to be a chief executive as three of the following companies lost their leader. Which one did not? Ooh. Oh. eBay, mm. Jewel, Uber, or WeWork? I know the answer Uber. to this one. I'll say Uber because I would have heard about that. I this think. week. This week? Yeah. Because uh, the Uber guy yeah. got t tossed uh, last year. So... So yeah. probably it was Uber uh, is the one that I'm, didn't. I'm Uber. saying it's eBay because I know Jewel. I the said, guy was. I said Uber first, so yeah. just so you. Yeah. Know. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. you, you didn't okay. press the button. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see. I say it's eBay. Let's see if I'm right. No, I'm wrong. Actually, uh, let me. Uh, I, now I have to redo this uh, so that I can. Um, uh, let me see here. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know what WeWork is, but I saw this. Okay, uh, as, I would I would say then it, I would say then that it was probably Uber, and that would be the right answer. Who said Uber? Uh, I did, and so did uh, yeah. Dan. I said it first. I said it first. Yeah. I've seen WeWork in the news. Mm -hmm. On Wednesday, the chief executive of eBay, Devin Wang, Wing Wang stepped down, citing differences with the company's recently revamped board. On the same day, Jewel replaced its chief executive, Kevin Burns, I love his documentaries, uh, with a uh, veteran of big tobacco as the e-cigarette company faces a federal criminal inquiry and bans on some products and numerous investigations <laughs> in his marketing. And on Tuesday, Adam Newman, the co-founder of WeWork, was forced out of Co the co-working company decided the last week to delay its initial public offering. So that's that. Okay, next question. Europe's highest court limited the scope of a law that protects which right? Okay, I'll say that again. Europe's highest court limited the scope 
of, uh, of law that protects which right? Uh, to be forgotten, to bear arms, to education, to freedom of expression. Freedom of expression, I would say. Freedom yeah. of expression, yeah. Yeah, you're wrong, Phil. Yeah. I don't know. I am too, then. Well, then they uh, gave, uh, they have the, the right to work? What, what is it? No, no, it's uh, to be forgotten, to bear arms, to education, to freedom of expression. We just uh, eliminated freedom of expression. So you got three uh, choices. Bear arms? Nope. Nah, I don't know the answer. Education. To be forgotten. Not to be forgotten. To be forgotten. The European Court of Justice ruling on Tuesday limited the reach of the landmark online privacy law known as the right to be forgotten, restricting people's ability to control what information is available about them on the Internet. Uh, and really? the decision, with broad uh, implications for the regulation of the Internet, the court ruled that the privacy rule cannot be applied outside the European Union. Okay? Yeah. Another reason to get out of the European <clears throat> Union. In the second largest donation ever to an American university, a $750 million gift to study climate change will go to what school? The California Institute of Technology, Harvard, Princeton, or Stanford? I don't know. I don't Probably know. hard knocks. I'm saying, I'm saying Harvard. Okay, it's just, it's just a gift. California. Huh? I'm going to go with Stanford. What? I'll go with Stanford. You okay? Well, we'll hit the button on Stanford. I'll go with That's uh, the Columbia School of Broadcasting. Stan <laughs> Stanford's, Stanford's wrong. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. So uh, I'm saying, uh, and somebody, what? Was another guess? Somebody else? I what else is left? Whatever the California thing was. was my California guess. Institute of Technology. Right. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Uh, oh boy. Caltech. Mr. Dan gets the point. Jacques Chirac. Oh, I win, Alex. What? Oh, Alex Dad. Trebek. This, is, win? this is a hard one. I don't know the answer to this one. Jacques Chirac, who served as France's president yes. from 1995 to 2007, died Thursday at the age of 86. Before Thanks. becoming president, Mr. Chirac was the longtime mayor of which city? Bordeaux, Lyon, Marseille, or Paris? I don't know. I think it was Paris. I'm I'm thinking that's awfully obvious. Okay. Yeah, well, I think that's. Leon. I think it's Leon. You, th go with you Leon. think? Okay, let's go hit Leon here. Nope, that's wrong. It's not Leon. Uh, uh, um, you, you want me to try Paris? Yeah. Sure. Or no? Okay. Yes, it was Paris. Yeah, that's what I think. Uh. Uh, yeah, you it, all are losers. He was the mayor of <laughs> the highly visible mayor of Paris for uh, 18 years. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I thought yeah. he was a stripper. Uh, you thought he was a stripper? Well, Rudy Giuliani. I, I thought he dove under Rudy the ocean Giuliani's a stripper for marine life. Uh, 18 years. He also served as prime minister. As president of France, he was a vocal uh, advocate of, uh, let's see here, a vocal advocate of the European Union and took a stand against the U.S.-led war in Iraq. He's largely remembered for warmly in France, though he was convicted in 2011 of embezzlement and misusing public funds during his tenure running the capital. Wow. And, uh, but he, he died, as you know. That's too bad. Uh, okay. Autumn, the Pink Panther. Uh, let's see here. The, we have two more questions left. All of you have time to redeem yourself. Singer Placido Domingo has been accused of sexual harassment by 20 women and abruptly withdrew from a production of Verdi's Macbeth the day before Guilty. it opened. The opera is currently being performed by which company? The Metropolitan Opera, the Royal oh, Opera, Walmart. the San Francisco Opera, or Teatro alla Scala? Royal. I it was probably I think la scala. Well, I whatever it is. Mm -hmm. The Royal. I, I believe I'm going to go with Metropolitan Opera. Let's see if it is the Metropolitan Opera. Bingo, I was correct. I know the story uh, because it was I a was big story here different. in New York. And the final question of the, of the night. Here is time, time for you all to redeem yourselves, if you haven't already. HBO's Game of Thrones 
made TV history at the Emmy Awards on Sunday, winning the best drama series and tying the record for the most wins in what cat in what category? Uh, most wins in that category. Excuse me. The award for best comedy went to which series? And this is something I have just finished binge watching. Mm. Is it Barry, Fleabag, The Good Place, or Veep? Probably no, Barry. I would vote for I'm, The Good Place. There's a lot of buzz around the Barry place. right now, so I'm guessing Barry. I've never I seen any the of them. Place. Loved it. The only one I've heard of is you the good saw, place. Which one did you see, The Good Place, did you say? I love The Good Place. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, I'm, I know what it is. And I just been because you have an it. Emmy in comedy, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah something like that. Uh, it was Fleabag, Fleabag, which, if you haven't seen it, is terrific. It is I know, just I've terrific. Heard that show. Huh? Yeah. Are they talking about Charlie's new apartment again? No. no, no. <laughs> and, and by the way, it's funny in the show. You know, they never say her name, but she is simply listed as Fleabag, uh, and it's a great show. It's two seasons, six episodes each season. Each episode is 25 minutes. You're in and out. Nobody gets hurt, you know? Netflix? <laughs> yeah. It's really, it's really great. The vaping thing? Hmm? What, what's Brie playing? Was that a vaping thing? No. What, what is that? It's a, it's a, oh, a USB uh, hub. USB yeah. hub. Yeah, yeah, it's a charger. But it's not a oh. 3.0 hub. That's a 2.0 hub, right? He's got something that goes out. It's a charging thing. He said. Yeah, this one. If you're on the go and you gotta take it with you. Oh, I see. Cool. That's cool. I've never used it, <laughs> but it's good to have it. You know? Yeah. Um. So, um, how how close are you now? Both of you guys, uh, you and and Charlie, are both have moved into a place. Okay. So my question is. Which one has got that? When did you when did you start moving in, uh, uh, Bree? Uh, August fifteenth. August fifteenth. So Bree moved in August fifteenth. August fifteenth, and you just yeah. getting around to getting all this stuff. Uh, you couldn't yeah. move in right away, right? Didn't uh, well, wasn't didn't you have you to know, stay we, in a hostel or something? Yes, until... I stayed in a hostel for two weeks and then uh, came here on August fifteenth, but. Yeah, I mean, I don't really have that much time. There's uh, the the position that I came into did not have someone for a full year. So can you imagine <laughs> it was all backing up? So I've literally been spending every minute just trying to get everything under control. Bree, if, if you order. knew if you knew that they didn't have somebody for a year, you could have gotten a lot more money for the position. <laughs> <laughs> Bree, Bri, you but got you. They waited for me. You got a you thing. got a problem so, there though. Is that you have to leave after a year, right? Two years. Ago. That's right. No, yeah, after a year. According to the Malaysian government, now everyone here tells me, "Oh, of course you'll get renewed," but you know I don't know. The funny thing is, I have to pay deposits on things, and that you know, in case I pull out early from the contract. Well, I tell them, you know, I tell everybody, I know exactly how long I'll be here. So I can tell you right now, you know, I'm not absconding. I'm getting, being kicked out by the government on this day, you know. Well, my suggestion so, to you is that you move in really fast because you don't know how long you're going to be able to be there. Yeah, I, if I could go back in time, but what would I do? If I, if I sent my stuff to a storage container, I'd just be paying a storage container, right. you know, a storage place. Might right. as well just put it here and I can go through it slowly. Take the chance. Try to get rid of stuff, sell stuff, yeah. you know. Yeah. Did you actually move stuff there that now you're going to get rid of? <clears throat> I moved a lot of stuff here. I got I got rid of stuff. I sold stuff. I donated stuff, maybe about 20%. But then I, I had to buy stuff once I got here. Like I have a new bed, but I wanted a new bed, you know. So it was like the time to make that switch. When, um, when I moved uh, from, I, I had a 20-day close. And so we had a, 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 what do you call it, a garage sale. And yeah. uh, it, it was raining really hard the day of the garage sale. The news actually showed up. It was, there was so much rain, and they stopped and saw the sale, and they put it on the news. But I was giving shit away that normally I would have been upset if there was even a scratch on it. 
And I, I was just giving it away because I had to get rid of it. I was going from yeah. 4,000 feet to 1,000 feet. I know exactly how that feels, Phil. Yeah. Exactly yeah. how now, it feels. Now, how far, how, so how far are you, Bree, from being finished moving in? Now, you say you, you started moving in August 15th, which is yeah. almost a month and a half ago. Uh, yeah. So are you uh, almost completely moved in now? Uh, I'd say 90%. Yeah, yeah, okay. But the other thing is, this is an old house, Alex, and every time that I would have a minute like to unpack, something would go wrong, I had to fix it. And the other thing is, I was dying to do some gardening, so I planted a lot of flowers, and I had to cut the yard, so I did sort of the yard work yeah. before I did the unpacking stuff. Is that an air raid, air raid siren? Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering, well, yeah, I was going to think the same thing. What is the, what is the... Oh, uh, no, that's uh, a light. <laughs> oh, my ceiling fan it's, it does make me look like i'm uh, a holy being sainted guy yeah like you're, you're the, yeah. saint dan i'm like i'm christ and his creepy something. van yeah <laughs> oh, but I hey, hey you know phil Alex. just mention that uh the creepy van thing uh who still has those recordings do you have those alex out? has them what, what, what was that was it you that we were talking about having the creepy van yeah, I think what I did when I did my podcast. Oh right, I did my lame little podcast. I tried to do that. Yeah, and then because Uncle Dan is the name I go by, so I like and, those podcasts. No, but what were we? Yeah, you know, I, I, I that was so long ago. I forget what the whole bit was, but we were giving you a bad time for having a creepy van, right? Yeah, and it was even a Twitter account that wound up getting thousands of followers. <laughs> Didn't Jim uh, Browning do that? Yeah, we started a... I think uh, it was Jim. Yeah, it was Ruddlestoke Jim. By yeah. the way, I know... Uh, are you guys getting along now? I know there was kind of falling out at the end. I but... haven't talked to the guy since he stopped doing the show here. Really? Yeah. yeah. Is he off oxygen yet? or did? You know... Now ask, ask me why he's no longer doing a show here. I thought he was sick. Well, he's no longer doing a show here, Alex. I have no fucking idea to this day. Oh, we just kind of left? He, well, all no. of a sudden, one day, I don't know, for some strange, unexplainable reason, he decided he hated me. Do you I want didn't, my take? I didn't do anything. Okay? Which I hated me, too. But do you want my take? Yeah. Okay. You made him the chief cook and bottle washer of GabNet, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you, you decided to put on a show, the stripper show, uh, the sex show. Yeah. And, he, and I don't think he wanted that, and you put it on anyway, and I think that's why. No, did. that was his excuse. Well, it, it just that, that was his it was excuse. pretty reasonable excuse. No, it wasn't. It wasn't a, re about? wasn't a reasonable excuse because the show wasn't in any way heavily sexual it couldn't be because it was on regular radio stations uh, yeah I, I know that you it, know it, but uh, uh, he used that as an excuse you know uh, and uh, I don't know why he went away and uh, it certainly didn't benefit him that much he was having know. some health problems he too. Had a radio yeah, I thought he was having health problems why blow yeah yeah so I, he had a radio show, or I think he had one in uh, Revelstoke, an actual ra or radio station radio. radio. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He had many moose were listening to his show. Many moose, yeah. moose, mooses, mooses, yes, <laughs> mooses. Well, that you got to admit that uh, story time thing he did on that Wednesday was great. that was, oh, that was great. Uh, ground groundbreaking show stuff. That, that was good radio. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, no. He did good yeah. stuff. He did good stuff. You know, I I don't I don't get it. Um, shit happens. Hmm? Shit happens. Yeah, shit happens, and uh, I, I I don't I don't understand it. it makes no sense to me. Yeah. Vernon's gonna say. Uh, you know, I I don't know. So, anyway, what Vernon. were you gonna say, Vernon? Yes, Vernon. Well, as you can see, I moved to my ham shack just so I could see everybody's face with the Wi-Fi, and my wife's tablet. I was yeah. only seeing one picture at a time, and it was always Phil. Yeah. So yeah. I decided to move. In. I decided now, to move into the ham shack where I've got the computer wired into the to the uh, the internet, and I can see everybody. But one thing I've noticed with the new Skype is that when I move my mouse, everybody's name pops up now on their pictures. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you're in a ham shack, that can't be very kosher. 
Yeah. Well, I'm not kosher. Right. You, you yeah, got a couple wow. of us here. You know? yeah. 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 So, well, I like, how, long I like been, how long have you been into doing uh, ham radio? Seems like kind of thing I'd. Uh, since I was a sophomore in high school, and I'll be 71 in January. Wow. Oh, so you've and been he'll be a it. senior uh, pretty soon, too. <laughs> Actually, I've got a lifetime membership in what they call the, uh, what do they call it? So, shoot. The uh, A-R- uh, old timers. AARP is not the one. It's there's oh. it's a quarter century it's quarter century wireless association. A-A-R-P. If you've been a ham a licensed ham for 25 years, you can join the QCWA, which is a quarter century wireless association, and I've been a member of that since I was let's see, I was 15 when I got my first license. So I was 40 years old when I got when I was able to join QCWA. I, I grew up in an uh, area that was pretty rural. Your QSL. My my call sign is actually if you if you uh, have the new Skype on there and you put your cursor over my name, it'll actually show my call sign in parentheses. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm uh, KBDH two nine five four. Yeah, say it again. KBDH two nine five four. Uh that's a CB handle. That's CB. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, um, uh, I had some friends when mm-hmm. I was uh, you know, before I drove. And they were ham operators. And living in a rural, fairly rural area, the ham radio uh, gave, going over there and, and listening to what they were doing, it gave me the opportunity to connect with people all over the world. And I thought that was, you know, a, a pretty interesting thing. I remember the call signs of my two friends, and I don't know if you can look them up, but one was W A two A A D, and the other one was, uh, uh, yep. W A two V Q W, and uh, yeah, let me let me pull that up on a. a w A two A A D might have been Larry Lazar. Let me add this window here. I can get a bigger audience for Gabnet by broadcasting it over the sword yeah, forty meters or something. No, you can't do that. That's illegal. Oh. <laughs> yeah, what was the call sign again, Phil? What was W A two A A D. Look at. Uh, Look at Bree. Hold yeah. on a second. I got it. Uh, everybody, be quiet. Bree, say something. I found no uh, results, Phil. Uh, could you look up uh, Larry a, Lazar? Maybe it's a reverse. The next few weeks. Let me look it up by name. Yeah, Larry or Lawrence Lazar. Well, this is boring. L A C A R. I think so. Hey, but you don't have to bring a show to a screeching halt there, Phil. <laughs> hey, I, I've been learning from you. Yeah. Uh, wait a minute. Now, hold on a second. Be quiet and let's see. Say something, Bree. I'll be in a few different countries over the next few weeks, so I'll see which ones I can, you know, drop drop in with you on. But uh, next week, uh, you will hopefully be very envious of my location. Really? Uh, what are we going to do? W A two V Q W. Can we? W A two V Q W. Phil, we don't care. Phil, it's really boring. Well, you know, so is the show. Get, get. <laughs> now that one comes up with Michael. You Martin. won't have to put yeah, up with this it. show very much longer, Phil. So don't yeah. don't worry about it. He's in Yonkers now. Used to be in Continental Village. Says, Yorktown Heights. Y- Yorktown. That's it. Yorktown. Yeah. Yonkers, Yorktown. Are you finished, Phil? Yeah, yeah almost. Oh boy! Now you see why I'm bringing the show to a close. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Because I can't control it anymore. Um, boy. Okay. Anyway. I, do, I, I don't want us to, you know, go into uh, technical talk, Alex. But I do have a di- dilemma. You might know the answer to. What is the What is the dilemma? Okay, so I I have a computer, mm-hmm. and I got internet here, but I can't do Ethernet because. The fiber connector was in a different location. Mm-hmm. So I have a PCIe card mm-hmm. that was getting 2.4 gigahertz, but it was very slow. So mm-hmm. I bought one that has 5 gigahertz. It's the same speed. And I thought getting the 5 gigahertz meant that the card would go faster. So I don't understand, you know, 2.4 and 5G if they're just different bands or yeah. my 5G goes faster when I use it on my iPad. Well, yeah, they're just what's, different what's bands. This, what's this 5G1 and 5G2? 
Uh, not, uh, uh, no, it's not five. Well, wait a minute, uh, wait a minute. Vernon had well, an answer to this question. Wait, hold on a second. Are different things. Hold on a second. Oh. Vernon had an answer to this question. Vernon? In terms of Wi-Fi, those are just two different bands. It's 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz, just two different bands. And the 5 gigahertz is a faster throughput. Maybe. Than, than it, depends, the, it depends on your supplier. Well, in my case, I have, a thing that's, I have a thing that's 5G, and it is much faster. It's, a much, it's closer to the high-speed Internet that I have than just a Wi-Fi signal, normal Wi-Fi so, signal. So why, if I bought a 5G H, I, we should say 5 gigahertz, because 5G gets confused with the cell phone stuff. Yeah, that's true. The, the 5G HZ, yeah. why... Uh, if I bought that card, why is it not faster? Well, why is it the same speed? Wait, well, wait a minute. It, Hold on. What's your, input your internet speed? survivor? Your internet provider? Yeah. It no, says I mean, open network. I have regular, and I uh, when I tune in to my internet provider, I can get 2.4 or 5. Right. So the 2.4 was is always slow. Uh, what the 5 is fast mm -hmm. when I have a device that can connect. Here's to 5G. where I can find it. Hold you on. also got to be closer to it, uh, to the 5. Uh, uh, on the wireless, are you are yeah. you hardwired? Uh, I have what's or? called. No, because uh, here's the thing. Well, I can't I have say my anything. iPad right next to my computer, and my iPad is 5G, and it's going uh, fast. I have a the adapter card for my desktop. It's 5G. It's going slow. It doesn't make any sense to me. Mm -hmm. Alex maybe had maybe the a, processor. Uh, maybe the processor. Alex your had an answer to it. No, I don't anymore. No, yeah. because I I bought a 5G USB plugged it into the desktop and it's fast but i can't but i don't want to take up that usb slot i've got the card i just so i can't figure it out i think maybe i i mean i bought it from china for 10 bucks i think there you go yeah, what okay. you pay for. all right uh, you know i get i get complaints about from people about too much tech talk okay you know. it's yeah. interesting and a lot more interesting than trump talk Hey, nobody talked about Trump. Trump says you. Yeah. That's, that's what I guess I that's a plus or minus, about. but I don't know. Whether Trump, Trump, Trump you decide. In, yeah. you know, this impeachment is not going anywhere. Why does the media go nuts so over <laughs> this? And it's a big goose egg. Nothing will happen, folks. Right on, brothers and sisters. Power to the people. I, I don't know. I mean, it's starting to gain a little traction this week. Yeah. It's pretty... I, but it's I don't. But those senators, those senators, and Mitch McConnell, they can watch video of Trump having sex with an infant, and they wouldn't bat an eye. That's how morally depraved they are. They, they would. would they don't care That's not really a baby. It's fake news. Yeah. 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 They'd come up with an excuse even for that. Yeah. And Lindsey Graham would be jealous, probably. But that's another story. <laughs> you hear Only if it was Graham, a boy baby. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh. Uh, it was uh, Rudy Giuliani said that Mitt Romney was jealous. That's why he came out at, against and Trump. Hey, you hear it's true. Very what do you mean it's true? I, well, I, Phil, you say it's true, and you don't know that it's true. Yeah, well, Mitt Romney couldn't win. Trump won. Yeah, but uh, you, know, but you know, when it's true, Mitt it's Romney true. It's Twitter. absolutely true. You you accept anything that comes out of the mouths of those assholes as being uh, absolute, unempirical absolute truth. truth. Is, you know. you're, you're bad about because Romney didn't fight back or McCain didn't fight back. Romney What's and McCain back? Are, both I think quit. you're upset that, that that lady at the McCain rally uh, that he that McCain shut her down because she she said Trump was an Arab. I think that's what Not it is. Not Trump. Uh, she said Barack Obama, Obama was, there, was a Muslim. And, and McCain was a nice level headed guy and shut that well, down. That's true. And, and, and he should have. But he yeah. also gave up a month before the election. He just gave up, and so did Mitt Romney. Well, well Sarah Palin didn't McCain, give up. McCain he gave up because the economy was going in the toilet. Yeah, yeah. that's why McCain gave up. Uh, and and, and uh, so why didn't Barack Obama give up because of the economy? Because it wasn't his fault. It was the other party's fault. It wasn't, it wasn't well, McCain's it was fault. And McCain's, McCain's a Twitter. Party. It was the Republican fault, Phil, and the Republican candidate is going to have to live with yeah. that. But yeah, let's talk about, yeah, he can't shake that. The party. Let's talk about what this is right now. And what this is right now is it's just a gift for the news cycle. Right. It's just a gift for the news cycle. 
There, okay. Uh, uh, this is, uh, I have to disagree with you, Bree. I would agree yeah. with you. I would agree with you, and I would have agreed with you a couple of weeks ago. But things seem to be taking a turn. More, more of the Congress is now getting towards, very close, towards a vote for impeachment. So yeah. it, 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 it takes it away from being just a useless exercise into something which is probably going to happen. Now, whether, whether it has any, any benefits, uh, I, I really don't know. I mean, I think that there is a recall available to us of, uh, of, of, of uh, Donald Trump, and that recall is in the form of a thing happening in about a year called an election. Right. Okay. And that I think the Democrats would be better to concentrate on that and being able to make their own case on why they could handle this country better than, than running a campaign. Ag 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 do what? That. what they're doing, they can eat and chew gum at the same time. Who? The yeah. Congress? They yeah. They never were in the past. Um, but, but you see, ultimately, it doesn't matter because it, impeachment will not pass. So anything you do is just for the benefit of the media. It's just a no, story you can. No, impeachment no, will pass, uh, but he will not be convicted and removed from office because right. the Senate won't vote two thirds. But everybody yeah. will clearly will see Congress. what a criminal Trump is, and all those yes, Republicans that don't be, vote will be now recorded will be in the history books. It will be recorded exactly. in history books for all time now. The Congress is not going to get. What do they need? Two twelve. They're, they're not going to get it. 218? No, 218. They ain't going to get it. They There's have 130 Democrats. They have yeah, it 200, doesn't matter. They're Democrats. not going to all vote for it. There's too many that are vulnerable in Trump districts, uh, districts that they won that lean uh, red. There, There's no way that those guys, or all of them, are going, and there's 30 of them, there's no way that they're going to... Uh, Wait a minute, Phil. Let me, let me click my record here. I want to record this for posterity. Where well, you're it, saying it, it's recorded. Happen. You don't have to. Alex <laughs> has every show recorded. Yeah. Uh, yeah I'm telling you... Throw this in Phil's face when it happens. <laughs> yeah, I, I, have, I have rightly predicted a lot of stuff over the last five years, including the uh, Trump's presidency, uh, I, I'm telling you that this is not going to, if it goes to a vote, which I don't think it will, uh, it's, they're not going to get enough people to, to vote uh, for impeachment. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't are you recording this? Are you recording this, Vernon? Yes, sir. Okay, Alex. be sure you have it on. on, uh, on uh, okay. Uh, I, if, I'm doing, if I'm doing a show at that time, uh, we can we can rec we can play it back for him. All right. Okay. okay. Yeah. So my prediction is, they will not only not have a vote, but if they did have a vote, they wouldn't get 218. Uh, I think they're gonna oh, well, they're not going to have a vote because Trump is going to resign. No, he's not. No, <laughs> he's, well, he's not a quitter like Nixon. Nah, oh, bullshit. If he, if he, if he, Phil, he's I got news so for you. Far, so if bad. he saw, if he saw. Uh, that uh, there was a good chance that he was going to be um, uh, thrown out of office. I think he just might quit rather than go through that, because he can't take that kind of that kind of thing on no. his on his historical record. He okay. doesn't care. What are you talking about? He doesn't quit. He's had six fucking bankruptcies. What do you think That's that is? Different. That's quitting. That's legal. There's That's nothing wrong quitting. with it. It's, it's quitting. quitting. It's still quitting, quitting Phil. Illegal. He's still uh, quitting. Hey, hey, what is he going to do? Write bad checks? You know? Uh, give him give him poker uh, chips? Everybody's looking for money from Trump that because he doesn't pay anybody. Yeah, he yeah. So, pay you know, well, he'll, he'll pay him with GabNet bucks. They're sitting holding rallies or waiting for their money. They're not getting yeah. it. Pay him with Trump he, University he, bucks. Because he's a yeah, snake. That made yeah. money. <laughs> mm. He's a scam artist. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Phil, 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 Phil has, yeah. Phil has all the answers because he went to Trump University. Yeah, well, uh, Phil, while you're making predictions, I'm going to make a prediction. Phil's Trump's going to lose the election. Trump Trump's going to lose the election in 2020, and they're going to go after him in, with a RICO suit and take everything he owns. Uh, well, I think you dream it because if they put up any of those losers that they've got on the stage now for the Democratic Party, there is no way 
that those any of those losers are going to unseat Trump. Every one of them. Uh, uh, every one of the top five. Any of the top five right now would unseat yeah. him. Well, you know, yeah. yeah. So the number one guy is 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 going to be probably quitting in the next few weeks because of this uh, this issue. Has the stuff no, has the stuff from the Ukraine. Well, I will make out. I will make I will make a prediction. I will make oh, a prediction, goodness, Phil, that, that no a... more. Let me let me say this, okay? That no more. Um, uh, that you're completely wrong about that. In that nothing's going to come of this whole flap about Biden. I think Biden will quit eventually because maybe he sees there isn't a path to winning the nomination, but it's not going to be over that whole Ukraine thing because that happened several years ago and he's not. 2018. In, in, we don't need finish. What? No, 2018? Well, no, in was. 2018 is when he did the. Uh, the the interview the with interview, uh, the but council the, but, the, but he never had any and, power. And admitted. Phil, he didn't have power past 2016. Okay, right. All right. So he shut up. Thing, so shut he up. Talked about it in 2018. No, it doesn't matter, Phil. I'm telling you, he's video. not in right. power. He does has, it has, Why are we talking it, about this in 2000? He won't be in power Phil, again. Phil, you, refuse, you use this so you don't have to talk about the fact that a man who currently has the job of president of the right. United States did something that was wholly illegal and that he's being right. held accounted to account for. He's You're president just, right now. He has power right – shut up, Phil. He has power right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Give, yeah, give me the and, jerk and, and off. Luckily, side. he does, because with that power is what he's going to do use to get rid of the swamp like people like Biden. The Biden swamp, like, he hasn't gotten rid of any swamps. Any swamp. He's, he's deepened it. Well, he's got swamp. more people. You'll see Biden, Biden will quit the race. And you know why? Uh, why are you people? Why Biden, are you people so frightened of Biden? You know why Obama Why are you so Biden, frightened you know, of Biden? Why are you frightened of Biden? Answer I'm me that question. Biden. Yes, you are. You know, you Obviously you are, because he don't mean shit to a tree right now. Yes, it does. You know what Obama said to Biden? He says, well, you don't you have, have to do this. Obama isn't president this. anymore. O Biden Obama. isn't vice president anymore. Trump is president right now. Yeah. And, and that's going who, after that's those who, guys. Oh, why? It doesn't he have doesn't he have Russia better thing. things to do than that? Yeah, he, he's he why is he doing himself. that? Why is he trying to uh, to 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 Trump besmirch victim. Biden? Trump because he considers the Biden the biggest threat to his presidency of any of the candidates. He's just the first one in a long list of bums that he's going after. Oh, and what's he going to do with uh, Elizabeth Warren? Uh, we'll see. Elizabeth Warren, he can just keep playing that uh, that interview that uh, you know where she said, "Well, you know, I'm I'm an American Indian." My mama told me. He didn't. She never said she food. was an Indian. She said she had Indian in her ancestry. Yeah, but she, she never put claimed down, to be a full blood. When she does, she Indian. does have in. Yeah, she does. The, she it's does have uh, to be to begin with. It's not called Indian, Phil. It's called uh, uh, you know uh, Native, Native American. American. Uh, yeah. and, and she didn't yeah. say that. She said there was a little bit of it in her in her in her past. And it turns out, yes, she and does she have a little bit. For that. And, and she, she apologized. apologized. She apologized for it. Something that Trump is incapable of doing. Apologizing. apologizing. Yes, Bree. Bree has his hand up. Uh, I like Trump. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> uh, because why? I'll tell you why. Because. He is really good for the media, and I love how he stirs up these conversations and discussions about, you know, what is legal, what is not, what is right, what is not. Most of the time, and those 26 people that died in his concentration camps, it doesn't matter at all. And 12 died of vaping. No, it matters. It matters. But I don't think that one guy is responsible for all that. I think we hold him responsible for that. But he, he doesn't That really... is his plan and his plan alone. We mean no he without him that wouldn't be those concentration camps wouldn't be there. I don't know They're if not you're right or if you're wrong on that. Uh, but um, there are people you know, concentrated together in a camp. <laughs> they're detainees. Oh well then so are the Jews. 
Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 just little different. At Auschwitz. Oh no! Yeah. If you were to ask uh, Hitler what they were, they were uh, simply detainees. They weren't called. They weren't. They didn't call the places concentration camps. Yeah. They were work camps. camps. They were work camps. camps. They were work so camps. Me, and in fact, me. the sign out in front of Auschwitz basically translated from the German, Phil, don't even try to start talking when I'm trying to talk, okay? You know? I mean, you're always interrupting lately again, Phil, and I ask yeah. you not to do this. Right. You know? I'll, I'll make Can't help himself. Himself. Uh, the, 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 the uh, uh, slogan in the front of Auschwitz was, work is, will make you free. Arbeit macht frei. You know, what? Arbeit macht frei. And what does that mean? The work will make you free, right? Work. Yeah. Yeah. Work. So those were work camps, Phil. Those weren't concentration camps. Just like where those kids died weren't concentration camps. They were detain de detention centers. Uh, uh, Run for uh, profit. Yeah. Uh, well, but here's know. the question I would ask. Yeah. Uh, has historically has the United States set up similar facilities, and in those facilities have people died? The answer is yes. And so to to say that Trump invented this, it's not there. I didn't say I he invented it, but he's responsible for what's happening now. And, and I I would imagine that he gets on the phone and he tells those people, don't let this happen. I don't think that he sits in the White House and says that, that he's I'm happy. I'm sorry, that's not anything that Trump would ever say. No, Trump he doesn't would, give a shit would. about anybody but Trump. Yeah, he doesn't have any interest in, in doing he that. He doesn't give a and shit how many of them on. die. Thousands could die. He wouldn't. Look what happened in Puerto Rico. He didn't give a shit about that. Well, I, I don't know the degree to, you know, what he what he feels and what he does and what he can do and what others around him can do. You know, I'm not sure. I, I'm not willing to just sort of hold him accountable for all the ills that befall our country. I don't think that's the purview of one individual. And uh, I think that, we, you know, yeah, I give uh, them... Bree, Bree, I have to disagree with you. I'm going to tell you why I disagree with you. I disagree with you because, you know, it's, it's like Truman had on his desk a sign that said the buck stops here. Buck and stops the buck here. stops there because he was re the president is responsible for it all. And whether it's his fault or not, he has to take responsibility for things under his watch. At least a good president does that. This president doesn't because Roy Cohn, a fucking asshole, taught him years ago, never admit to mistakes. And so he won't admit to a mistake. Rather than say, hey, you know, this was an error in judgment. I think I should reverse myself on this. He is incapable of that. He's also incapable of compassion. You, you know, I mean, you never see compassion empathy. come out of this man or empathy come out empathy. of this man. That's you know. uh, he doesn't even follow the, the uh, tried and true rule that I've talked about, about if you can't be sincere, at least fake it. You know, I mean, he can't even fake sincerity. I mean, it's, it's amazing. Like he's consistent. Hmm? Wait, what? He's consistent. He's consistent. He's, cons he's consistent, consistent in his un or unwillingness to admit that even he is capable of mistakes, you know. Almost every other president, even the ones we hated, at one time or another said, well, maybe I was a little wrong about that, and I've decided otherwise. Right. You know, this guy is incapable of that. Media, as soon as you give an inch, they're going to take a yard, you know. Yeah. So I think that he, you know, he has moments where he thinks about those things. I just don't think we're privy to them. Uh, and. And I think there's a frame. There's a frame in the I media. Care, I don't care what he Stop thinks, it. what he does. <laughs> uh, let me let me ask uh, let me ask uh, uh, Vernon something. Vernon, do you have your uh, your uh, uh, t uh, what do you call it? Your Morse code thing with you? Okay. Uh, just tell us in Morse code what you think of the current administration. Okay, a lot of people out there who are into Morse code just got a good laugh, <laughs> right? It's the whole what did show you What did you say, code. Vernon? I said, "Fuck it." <laughs> <laughs> uh, At thirty words a minute. At thirty words a minute. That's yeah, very I can't good. Do thirty words a minute. I'm listen. No, oh, I'm. Oh. Oh, huh? Okay, I must, I must admit I'm a little fascinated by this whole ham radio thing. Do do people still use Morse code? I'm um, because oh, yeah. you still have. Yeah. I mean, why? 
Well, here's the thing. When the, when the crap hits the fan, the most efficient way to communicate is with Morse code because it doesn't require as much energy for the signal to go across right, the country or anything off. like that as it does for a voice signal. A voice signal oh. requires more energy for that. To, and then you got to, everybody's voice is different. So listening when, when the signal's really weak and understanding yeah. what somebody is saying when the signal's right. really weak is difficult. With Morse well, code, can... it's much more simple. So like when the apocalypse comes, then you'll be the hero. You, he'll no he'll be the one that will let everybody know. Yes, hey, Bree. Yeah. Bree. The hey, apocalypse. Hey, Burton, yeah. Have you heard of these uh, things that in the uh, uh, astrobiology field called fast radio bursts, the FRBs? Do you think that could be Morse code among planets? Uh, I don't know. I haven't really studied that. I haven't looked into that. Because I'm but, very curious I, about I think that a lot of those astronomers, they don't have anybody from the ham radio field in their midst. And I think that that might benefit them. If you could uh, take a look at some of these stories, maybe FRBs are Morse code among. Well, planets. here's here's a, here, here's thought, something that Brian? most people don't listen to. The, to. Most people don't think about it in terms of that. But the information being sent across the internet where we're connecting and everything, are, it's done in packets. Mm -hmm. It's done in digital bursts of information across the yeah. internet. Yeah, That's right. how cell phones work too. Cell phones send digitized information over a tower where multiple users can use them at the same time because it's all multiplexed. But that's a, a form of code. Morse code is just the simplest type of, of communication code that was ever invented. By the way, we've been, joined, we've been joined by Ray Renati. By the Hello. Way. Hello, I Ray. I thought certain frequencies did not allow, uh, only allowed Morse code. Uh, that's true. On the ham radio bands, that's true, yes. Yeah. Hmm. And uh, what, what is it, 20 and 40 or 80? Which well, band? Every shortwave band, there's a segment of the band for the ham radio where only Morse code is allowed. Yeah. Hmm. And it's usually right. the bottom 25 or the bottom 50 uh, kilohertz. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that, that's that's what I thought. Uh, but is it only allowed because that's the agreement, or is it only allowed because that's what works on that frequency? It's it's, al it's allowed by international agreement. Oh, I see. Yeah. That's uh, a that's a whole lot of that's a whole lot hey, of hey, hey. it's a whole lot of equipment you've got back there. It's interesting. Uh, yes, Ray. Hi, I just been listening to since seven, riding my bike. Very, uh, very lively show, I must say. Well, <laughs> yeah. It, it, yeah. It, it, it gets that way occasionally. Yeah. And hey, we it, got a blow up doll down there in the right in the <laughs> corner. Yeah. What, 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 yeah. What, 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 who are you talking about? Bree's uh, camera. Uh, it's just like a blow up no, doll. No, that's not. Yeah. A, that's uh, not. It's a, a, it's a Buddha. That's, that's, that's not. A, oh, sorry. <laughs> shit, I'm going to hell. Can you go to hell for that? Oh, no, they don't have hell in food. Well, supposedly, that Bree... Is just, that is just a statue from Thailand. Of a oh, it's woman. small. <laughs> <laughs> it looked huge. <laughs> it, looks, oh, no. it looks bigger than you. Well, he's going on a trip next week, and he's not telling us where he's going, but he's going to surprise us. I guess we're going to make us guess. Pittsburgh. Uh, yeah, well, I'm there. <laughs> Show you the video, and you can guess. I'm from Ohio. <laughs> what, what was I'm going to be able to do that several times over the next two months. So, are you going to go to? Uh, 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 not that you're giving it away. Are you eventually going to go to Hong Kong uh, when they have all this shit going on there? Or, that uh, may or may not be one of the places on the agenda for the next two months. I see. And is this as part of your job going to these places? Um, half and half. Yeah, I'm. I, when I get invited to give a talk, I'll, and then I try to get a day or two on either side as a mini vacation. Yeah, yeah. But you, you um, uh, a while back did that where you took the camera out and then you showed us a city and you said, where am I? And I think I got it, right? It was Singapore? Kuala no, Lumpur. Kuala Lumpur. Or where was it? <laughs> Kuala Lumpur. Yeah, you didn't get it. Yeah, it I recognized the building that he was uh, pointing at. I recognized that from the yeah, movie Entrapment. From, and, uh, yeah, yeah. From, oh, yeah, I remember that. I thought that was in Singapore, uh, though. I guess not. No. Oh, well, that's like Kuala Lumpur. Lumpur. What, what's the name of that building? It's got a... Uh, Patronus Tower, right? Uh, that's it. Yeah. 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 It's a be be beautiful, beautiful building. 
Um, yeah. I, I, where, where, did I, where, did I, where did I see the question today? And I got it right because of you, Bree. It said, oh, I was doing a crossword puzzle. It says, uh, uh, the world's tallest building is in this country or whatever for the crossword puzzle. And I wrote right in Dubai, you know, because UAE. the Burj Khalifa is, is, the, yeah. is the tallest UAE. building in the world, isn't it? It is for right now. It yeah. won't be next year. But yeah. Why yeah, won't it be? Something what, else coming up soon. What will be? There's two. Is there something else? Saudi in Arabia and UAE are kind of competing to have the highest. Really? Well, yeah, I'll tell so you, I have a... Saudi's going to build one, and then yeah, UAE has another one with, planned. With my Apple TV, I have a, um, uh, a, a screensaver of the Burj Khalifa and Dubai that is just gorgeous. There's one at night, and there's one during the day. And what, a, what an amazing edifice that is. It's got lights going on and off all up and down. It's the planes don't hit it, you know. My, my current uh, screensaver for my laptop is Dubai, the marina. Mm -hmm. But for my desktop, it's a picture I took in this country. Really? I was, yeah, do you know where this is? I don't know. I would have said Greece. Italy. Uh, it looked like Italy. Greece to me. Yes, Italy. that's Parthenon. In Greece, uh, yeah. Acropolis. Oh, yeah. nice. I've been, to the, I've been to the Parthenon. It was singularly the hottest place I've ever been in my life. Hot? It, well, because it was a really hot day, and I was up there on the hill with the Parthenon, and I felt like I was a piece of bacon on a griddle. It was that hot. You know? Alex, I was, I was exactly the same, and I, I had my baseball cap, but I didn't have any uh, sunscreen. I met uh, two girls from uh, South Korea. Yeah. I recognized that they were speaking Korean, and uh, I really like Blackpink and Twice, and so we talked about that. She had sunblock in her purse, and she put it on me all over. And it turns out, and when we got to the top, she joined with three others. Uh, they were all stewardesses for Qatar Airways. Yeah. And I got a beautiful picture with the five of them at, uh, at the Parthenon, and it's it's one of my favorite photos. Well, I was they there. They saved me. I was there. I'm trying to remember when I was there, uh, but it was like uh, about in 1997, maybe earlier than that, actually. Uh, and uh, they were working on the Parthenon, and they're still working on the Parthenon. I mean, they're never going to get finished trying to fix that thing. It's great. You know, uh, but uh, uh, certainly one of the... Is Phil gone? Huh? Is Phil yeah, I gone? I think so. Is Phil oh, gone? Oh, he must be. Well, I don't... Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. It scared it's him gone. off. Uh, no, I don't think we scared him off. I think he just probably <laughs> lost his signal or something. Uh, okay. you know? Yeah, I think. Mm. Well, the one, uh, the one fact that I remember that we talked about the Burj Khalifa. The one fact that I uh, thought was fascinating mm -hmm. was that Muslims during Ramadan, if you're on the top floor of the Burj Khalifa, mm -hmm. you have to not eat for like two minutes longer because the sun is still not down. <laughs> That's oh, really? crazy. That yeah. sucks. Well, then yeah. you, I guess you don't, don't go to the top of the Burj Khalifa then for that reason, especially I, if you're I, hungry. I don't know. Or, if you're really hungry, anyway, you got to make sure. That I, if you're I, really I, hungry, you got to go downstairs. I don't know what <laughs> happened. It takes over two minutes. So. Yeah. I don't well, know. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. You get Labnan dates. Phil was well. talking about something a couple of minutes ago, and then all of a sudden he froze up and disappeared. So I guess we, yeah. we yeah, lost Yeah, then he it. figured there wasn't a time left. Back yeah, in, so. probably. Hey, listen, uh, that's it for tonight. Uh, see you all next week, um, uh, hopefully, if I feel like it. Uh, Vernon, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Uh, Phil, you're frozen, but uh, uh, yes, uh, the battery backup. Oh, he had a problem, I guess. Yeah, I have. I had my electricity go out today, too, so I know the problem you can have. So, But thank you, Phil, even though you're frozen there. Uh, uh, I want to thank you, Ch Charlie. Great talking to you uh, from your newly minted uh, place in, uh, in uh, Texas, in Austin, Texas. From uh, the wonderful uh, Kuala Lumpur, it's Bree and the musical stylings of Bree and his blow-up uh, godlike doll. And uh, Dan, call more often. We love having you here. And, and Ray, call us earlier, okay, so we can hear more from you.
Anyway, that's it for tonight. Why don't all of you give us a big wave goodbye, and we'll wave back at you. Okay, there they go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh boy, I uh, didn't do a, I, I didn't do a, uh, what we call a dissolve. Okay, I did a cut, but that's the way it is. Anyway, let me uh, hang up on these people here and get the uh, Skype ready for the next guy, who is uh, Jack Bishop, and his program is of course. Uh, known affectionately uh, as The Intersection. He'll be here taking your calls. Uh, I'll be here probably next Tuesday, I would imagine. I don't know. I'm, I'm taking it a day at a time. Uh, in the meantime, uh, next is uh, Jack, and then I will be here after Damian Chaplin on Tuesday uh, with The Ramble, 10 o'clock Eastern Time. In the meantime, as always... If you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Have a nice weekend.